Right, welcome to Drill Down Earnings. We've got the latest quarterly results from IBM second quarter earnings. And these were interesting. Wall Street seemed to like what they saw. I got some questions. We'll take a look here. This is a business story behind one stock on the move. I'm the Futurum Group Chief Market Strategist, Corey Johnson. Uh, of course, we care about IBM. Big Blue's seen a great turnaround, finally, from a business that has struggled for decades under some really strong management here. But there's, some of these results were really interesting in an era of AI. It's an interesting time for IBM. Wall Street, of course, just looks at a beat or a miss, and this was a beat. Uh, and, and so the stock rallied a little bit here. Um, let's look at the actual numbers here, what IBM reported. They called it a strong second quarter. They talked about exceeding expectations and growth across the board, but they relied on some currency gains for that growth. Um, uh, and for example, they said that revenue increased, and I guess on a constant currency, currency basis that may be true, but gap results show that revenues Kind of flat. Software did well. Consulting did not do well, down 1%. Infrastructure up 1%. So not big gains at all here. Um, decent profit margins, uh, to be sure. But when we look a little bit deeper, again, they said revenues were up. I see uh, the revenue uh, grew at a faster rate. I see 3% in consecutive quarters. So uh, you need currency adjustments for that. Now, certainly their EBIT margins rebounded. Um, and uh, the, the big concern here, I think, is what's happening with the consulting business. Software is a bigger business for them, 41% of the overall pie at IBM. But 36% of revenues in consulting uh, is important thing to look at. Now, the growth in software has been their single digits, but better than it has been the last two quarters. That's certainly a good thing. And when the numbers came out and it hit Wall Street, Wall Street liked what they saw. Stock was up uh, in, a, in trading. Um, as soon as these shares that uh, this was announced, and that's after a pretty good year for IBM, 32% for a full year. But uh, when we dig a little bit deeper, indeed, uh, CVO Arvind Krishna did get some questions about these issues around consulting. And the real question here, so think about this, so they're seeing a lot of business um, in AI, and they say when they get business from AI, about three out of every $4 in business from AI is consulting revenue. But the question is, are IBM customers stopping paying for consulting of other types and only doing consulting uh, in AI, or is it additive? So is it cannibalistic or is it additive? And Arvind Krishna, the CEO said, right now it's a little bit, it seems like it's a little bit cannibalistic. I don't want to put words in his mouth. Here's what he had to say. There is discretionary spend pressure in consulting. When you do have that pressure, but there is a demand for AI, I would look you in the eye and say, Probably the bulk of that demand, not not all, but the bulk, is indeed a shift from other areas of consulting. We don't actually believe uh, it's cannibalistic to the point you're pointing out. Now, as time goes on and as people move from early experimentation and proving out the value to wanting to scale and really get the full uh, benefits of generative AI, uh, we do actually believe at that point, even for consulting, these will turn into creative and additive, but we are still some time away uh, from when that will happen. That is just to give you some color and acknowledging that the bulk, but not all, is, is a shift. So it's not all of it, but it's some of it, but maybe it won't be some of it later. I think we're going to keep an eye on what's happening with consulting and IBM long after this quarter. But I've got one number I wanted you to take away from these earnings and one number that means a whole lot, the drill down earnings bite. We're going to have that right after this. The drill down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. So IBM recording second quarter earnings. Uh, it was a decent quarter for a business that has struggled for a long time, but there were questions. Here's your essential summary. So $15.8 billion in revenues, that's good. Up 2%, 4%, so 2%, they say 4% in constant currency. Why don't we call it 3%? But I promised you the drill down earnings bite, one number that tells us a whole lot. Consulting is faltering. The business has been growing at a slower pace, not just this quarter, not just negative growth, 0.2% by my accounting of it, but, and that's the number I want you to remember, but when you look back over many quarters, you've seen the growth rate falling in consulting as they've gotten more AI business, 
but maybe not a lot more consulting business. It's something to watch. All right, thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson, Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media. And indeed, you can check us out at Corey TV on TikTok. Uh, we're at, at Drill Down, at Corey TV, I should say, on X. Uh, also on Instagram at Drill Down Pod. And uh, 6.5 Media's YouTube page has all kinds of earnings information. Leave us some comments. Tell us what you think. We want to know. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media. 